Tonight's episode of CUI is inspired by a drag queen. Not me. I don't know how you feel about drag queens, but personally, I kind of get my fill of them. I ran into Princess Stephanie the other day. And we got to talking. Once you get drag queens out of their character, they're just normal people with different clothes. Princess Stephanie and I got to talking about cooking. And she mentioned making chicken marsala. And I thought, oh, that's a great idea. And then she said, you know, you could do pork or whatever with marsala. And I thought, hey, I've got a big old pork roast. I'll do that. So Princess Stephanie, thank you for the inspiration for Cooking Under the Influence tonight. Can't have just a sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour, I'm Sean. Today we're going to be doing something delicious, pork tenderloin marsala. I see you shiver with anticip- But as all good chefs know, before we start cooking, we need a drink. Oh look, I'm out. How tragic. Patient. I'm just going to do my good old standby vodka soda. Squeeze a lime, vodka, and soda water. Ah, delicious. Look, I got new I, I got new glasses. And look, I got crazy weird new lighting. Woo! Pork marsala. It's not hard and it doesn't take long to cook. I'm gonna start with a side dish first, because I think it's gonna maybe take longer to cook. I don't know. This is Swiss chard. I've never had charred before. Somebody said it's really good. It's all pretty and red. and It's like a bouquet. It looks like um, rhubarb. Now yes, this episode is thanks to a drag queen. Not me. I am not a drag queen. I've never worn drag. These are all kinds of shit popping and up. Good heavens. Well, except that one time. If you, if you were there, you know. Frank and Grace and Peggy. Let's take our charred stems. We've cut them off from the leaves. Let's chop them in like a half an inch long chunks. Most of the time, drag queens, they get on my nerves. I wanted little potatoes, but all I had was big potatoes. The potatoes up into little chunkettes like that. It's okay when they're like hosting a show or you see them from a distance, that's fine. A little olive oil in the bottom of the pan. When you talk to a drag queen, like, and they're and they insist on staying in character, that's just a pain in the butt. All right, I forgot to hit record. We're starting with our potatoes in the hot pan. But Princess Stephanie, once we got out of character and she was just a person wearing a dress and a wig and whatever, then it was cool. That was totally awesome. Hot, hot. Nice conversation. Terrific entertainer. Very funny, by the way. Ones are brown on one side, and you flip them, turn the heat down. This is going faster than I expected. Wow. Faster than I can drink. All right, we're going to get some green onions. Once your potatoes are done, uh, kind of brown on two sides, let's add our charred. Our charred stems. Oh, Lord. I'm going to add some chicken stock. Why not? A little bit. Now I'm gonna add the onions, green onions. A nice chopped garlic. Why not? Never made chard before. So this is kind of a vegetable medley. Oh, let's get our leaves of chard. Ooh. That might be a problem. Hmm. Uh, maybe use a pot instead of a pan. This looks this is scary. Moving on. Remember I did a pork roast episode? This is a pork roast. The drag queens love to get pork. Nice boneless tenderloin. Oh my god, it's so good. Let's slice, make a few medallions of pork. I don't know, half an inch thick or so. They look lovely. Feature meat. 
So now our little pork chops are all tenderized and thin. Plain old flour. This is bread flour. We're breading it. We may as well use bread flour. What the heck? Pork medallions, tenderized, in the flour. We don't need an egg wash. We just want a little flour on it. That's it. Bada. Not margarine. Not shed spread. Not fucking, I can't believe it's not fucking butter because I can totally believe it's not fucking butter. Fucking butter. All right, so far no disasters. While the butter's melting, it's time for a refill. Yay, refills. Okay, butter's got a low smoke point, which means it burns easy. So don't let it burn before you put your shit in. I don't know if you remember, but Lola, L-O-L-A, Lola. That was about a drag queen. Are you shocked? They kept it on the radio. Let's slice up some onions. The last line of the song. It's like a mystery novel, peeling the onion. Layers and layers. Put your meat on a plate after you cook it. Let it rest. Let's go to the clip, Joe. Let's put our onions in our skillet. This reminds me a bit of the Griot and Grit episode. And we're going to get a whole bunch of mushrooms. I'm not the world's most masculine man, but in, I know what I am, and in bed I'm a man, and so's Lola. Really? How did that get past the censors in the 1960s? Gee whiz. You can get canned mushrooms? I don't care. Use shiitake. Use oyster mushrooms. Use wood ear mushrooms. I don't care. Use freaking magic mushrooms. That's fine. I mean, that would actually be pretty fun. Just ask any drag queen. Okay, now we come to the point why this is called pork marsala. You're going to get marsala wine. Marsala. So I think onions, they hurt. It's a fortified wine, which means it has brews added to it. Let's put about a cup of that in there. Like pork and sherry and all those dessert wines, that's where you're going to find it. Let's put... What does this taste like? I don't know. It's not bad. I didn't choke on it, so it must be okay. All right, well, we're gonna go to our garden and get some oregano and some tarragon. You know, my, you know the rule, as Julia Child says, never cook with any wine you wouldn't drink yourself. Okay. You still haven't planted a garden? God, you suck. No, you don't have to cook with homegrown herbs, but I highly recommend it. I want to grow my own chickens. When you scrape all the burn bits off the bottom of the pan in the wine, that's called deglazing. Deglazing the pan! I think the Germans have a lot of drag queens, but there's not a lot of Nazi drag queens. Pork medallions that have rested in there. Can you imagine a Nazi drag queen? That would be really wild. What's going on with my hair? Can't we all just get along? All right, one last thing. Go out to your garden. Get you some parsley. Out of your garden. Parsley is the vegetable you don't have to worry about. Which is why I won't chastise you if you don't have any grow in your garden. And let's just parsley our potatoes and chard. Tell you what, let's add a little salt and pepper. Let's get some chard. Let's maybe get it on the plate. All right, this stuff looks freaking awesome. Sp potatoes, potatoes up in there. Oh, and the marsala. Oh, that looks awesome. We got our chard and potatoes over here. We got our pork marsala over here. Mm. You can use white wine. Might be better. Chard. First time I'm eating chard. Tastes like collard greens. So get you some collard greens for like half the price. Okay, all in all, not bad. I'm not sure I'm going to make it again. Yeah, chard is just collard greens. Not an epic fail, not an epic win. It's okay. Oh well. 
I've still got all the pork tenderloin. I'm going to make some damn breaded pork chop sandwiches. How good is that? Thank you for watching. Adios and bon appetit. Well, that's just Bobby with an eye.